Hi, Professor. Welcome back to our channel. We are Good Mai. I'm Nai Han. For today, we're going to talk about why does the Green Line has the highest suicide rate. As you know, since the suicide rate is a very complex and sensitive topic, uh, as well as the Green Line is located in the north of the world and isolated from around uh, isolated from any other countries in the world, but it has the highest suicide rate. So the, our project visualized the factors contributing the Green Line's highest suicide rate by collecting global data uh, to on suicide rate from 1919 to 2017. We designed 13 worksheets, eight dashboards, and one story board. We, over, we provide you an overview of the suicide days rates in, at the first, and secondly, we analyzed the three facts of a suicide rate. S thirdly, we analyzed four factors that may affect the Green Line suicide rate. And finally, as for our end users, we hope the government, the Green Line government and organization that will help prevent the suicide rate will uh, help a lot by using our visualization products. Hello, Professor. I'm Jen Yan. Today, I will talk about our data sets. We have 14 data sets, as you can see on the left corner. Uh, to give an overview of Greenland suicide rate compared with other countries, our data sets include tables of suicide rate with country, uh, gender, and age. To analyze the method of suicide, we found data about suicide rate using firearm worldwide. To analyze the factors that affect Greenland suicide rate, we also organized tables of mental and substance use disorders rate, alcohol consumption per capita, and the GDP for different countries. We assumed ice melting is one of the factors resulting in high suicide rate. Given this information, we found the data about the area of Greenland glacier melting. Each of our data sets are historical, so we can see their changes over time. Hi, Professor. I'm Qin Yong. After introducing the project and data, now we're going to start our story. So for our first chapter, we are going to overview the global suicide rate from 1990s to 2070s. We first use the map chart to overview the suicide rate across the world. By looking at this map, you will see that the green band has the darkest color. You may say that because it's the year 1990s, but when we play this year animations, you can see that no matter what year it is, um, the green band always got the darkest color. So we make a conclusion that the green band has an extremely high suicide rate over years. The map chart can help us easily overview the global suicide rate. However, in, in order to compare the suicide rates between the countries, color is always not a good choice. So we use horizontal bar chart to compare the suicide rates difference between countries. In this bar chart, we can find that the top three countries with the highest suicide rates were the Greenland, the Russia, and also the Lithuania. Although we can see the suicide rates changing over year via this time animations, it is easier for users to directly compare the oldest year, which is 1990s, with the latest year, which is 2017, to see if there is a dramatically change in the suicide rates over 27 years. In this scatter plot at uh, the bottom right here, we can find the suicide rate in all country is falling during the past 27 years. So for our next chapter, we want to compare the suicide rates by age group between global and Greenland. So let's take a look at the death bar chart. This shows the global suicide rate by different age groups. By looking at this chart, we find that people over 70 groups rank the highest in the suicide rate, which means that people who suicide is mostly older people. In addition, we can find that the global suicide rate follows 
a standard patterns of the older age group, the higher the suicide rate. The over 70 group here has the highest suicide rate and the 15 years old group has the lowest suicide rate, which is 7.13. Now let's take a look at the charts on the right. This shows the Greenland suicide rates by different age groups. As you can see, in 2017, Greenlanders aged over 17 years old has the highest suicide rate. And this has got the same result as we got in the previous chart. However, the Greenlanders didn't follow the pattern of the older age group, the higher the suicide rate. Instead, you can see that the age group 40 and the age group 15 or the 20s have the higher suicide rate. So after Jimmy uh, provide us to analyze the suicide rate by age, now let's focus on the suicide rate by gender between the world and the green light. So this chapter, we using the line trying to shoot all markers. So we can uh, intuitively observe the change of average suicide with gender in different years. As you can see, we distinguish the average suicide rate by male, both sexes, and the female in three different colors. Also, we put these two charts from world and green line into the one dashboard, which we can uh, compare the trend of the suicide rate by gender strategically. Basically, the trend of suicide rate by gender in Greenland is generally consistent with the global average trend, which still reflects the fact that the male average suicide rate is just over 30 times about the female suicide rate, and all suicide rates have declined over time. However, it's very noted, it's noticed it's worth to notice that all average suicide rate in Greenland fills significantly and gaps. Be, uh, along these three lines decreased from the 1990s to 2017s. Also, we can see the male suicide rate filled by the largest uh, gradient in 2014. More significantly, the average suicide rate in Greenland is much larger um, rather than compared to words because we can compare the y-axis. The range uh, of the y-axis for the Greenland is zero to the uh, 140, but as for the world is only zero to the 20. So after, uh, so last chapter, we compare the trend of suicide rate and gender. In this chapter, we can easily focus on the value of a male to female suicide rate by gender on one specific year by using this guider point. Uh, as for this guider point, actually at the first time we use the bar chart instead of this one. But after that, we found the bar chart is blurry to display the trend of the suicide rate after we select the shoe history. So uh, moreover, the 2D position pre attentive attributes is much more precise than Y's attribute. So that's why we change from the bar chart to the scatter point as you can see now. Uh, also, we use the reference lines to uh, let you see the Mm, this, uh, to see the specific value of each point uh, uh, very clearly. As for, we also show the uh, suicide rate by a firearm, which is the most uh, common method for suicide rate. As you can see, in the 2017s, uh, the Greenland has the highest suicide rate by the firearm. It's very, uh, it's very uh, straight out clearly, it's because it estimates about 13.78 suicide days by firearm per 100,000, which is more than twice greater than the number two, the United States. And actually, Greenland has the highest suicide rate by firearm from 1919 to 2017. Okay, now we're moving to the factors that may affect Greenland suicide rates. In this line chart, as you can see, uh, it shows the mental disorder rates of different countries from 1988 to 2018. To make them more comparable, we changed the scale of y-axis. Then we highlighted the green line with red and showing its label. We also added a reference line to show the average rate of mental disorders 
rate worldwide. As we all know that mental and substance use disorders are widely recognized among the most important risk factors for suicide in many countries, including Greenland. Now we are moving to the next factor, which is GDP. This line chart shows uh, the GDP of different countries from 2000 and 2015. The design process is similar with the previous one. We also um, made the green line, a uh, green line red, and have the reference line with the average uh, GDP of the world. Since various studies have analyzed the correlation between the economic risk resections and suicide rates, we can see that poor economic performance may be one of the results of Greenland high suicide rates. And we're moving to the surf factor. This line chart shows the alcohol consumption of different countries from uh, 1950 to 2015. The design process is also similar with the previous one. As you can see, the red line is Greenland and the uh, uh, blue one is the average line uh, of the world. Um, so from the chart, we can see that Greenland had high alcohol consumption per capita uh, over time. So uh, because many studies have found a positive and significant association between alcohol consumption and suicide rate, we can conclude that Greenlanders' alcohol abuse may result in high suicide rates. And this is the last factor, which is iceberg calving. As you can see, from 1979 to 2019, Greenland glacier melt area was gradually increasing. In 2019, an average area of 196,000 square kilometers were melting before August. Actually, glacier melting is a major barrier to the maritime hunting life which Greenlanders have depended on for thousands of years. Moreover, rising sea level caused by glacier ablation has narrowed the living area of Greenland. Therefore, ice melting may greatly contribute to Greenland high suicide rates. That's all for the factors that may affect Greenland suicide rates. Now we are moving towards um, limitations and uh, further work. So for the limitation, we have two limitations. First one is the data limitation. So our group hoped to visualize data from 1990s to 2070. However, some data sets do not have such a long period. So for some data, we can only visualize a short time period. For the time limitations, our group found multiple reasons that caused the high suicide rate in Greenland. However, we don't have enough time to find data and turn them into charts and dashboards. For example, finding the relationship between daylight durations and suicide rate in Greenland. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.